with, when we do these interviews, we like to kind of ask some fast questions. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, no pressure. Okay. No pressure. Um, and they're not too fast. Okay. It's not total rapid fire, but we like just to get some, you know, kind of advice from our from our mom bosses, okay. and you know, just just the basics of being a mom and being a boss and and doing it all. You okay. Know? Um, so, first off. What is your favorite part about being a mom? My favorite part of being a mom is watching my kids um, seeing life through their eyes. I think really hearing their excitement when they you know, share what happened in the day or what's going on at school. Um, feeling that joy is so amazing. You know? So I, I definitely think hearing them speak and hearing their words are, are, is my favorite by far. Does that kind of recharge you for your own work life and, and job? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. I I definitely last night we were just watching videos actually on our our computer, you know, where we store a lot of the pictures yeah. and hearing their little voices at one and three and you know, them singing and you know, the joy, it's like, oh my gosh, I wanna bottle the voices and that joy and excitement forever. Yeah. So what do you think is the hardest part? Um, the hardest part we I would definitely say is when your child feels sad you know I think for me I I have to continue to remind myself that they will learn from adversity and that they can um, get out there and they have to speak up and share if they're feeling disappointed or feeling sad but as a mom you want to go in and swoop in and be that mama bear and and help when there's a problem so I feel definitely the hardest part is watching them feel any kind of, of sadness. With your business, how have they kind of influenced that? I know you started before you had children. Did things change once you did? Um, I think I definitely learned to become even more flexible. Um, I feel with clients before, you know, as you know, people can quickly t change their mind or or need something to change or, or need a different time. And you know, after a while that can become exhausting only from a scheduling standpoint, you know, making sure you can get everything in in the day. Um, but as I had children, I feel like that definitely I understood, you know, when someone said, oh my gosh, I have a little one who's like, I can't, I can't have you come out today. Or, um, you know, I need to rent somebody to a carpool. And I used to think, you know, a carpool, they couldn't have have somebody else help, but I get it. I mean, that's your child that you want to get off to what makes them happy. And so, you know, I think that flexibility for me was really important. Do you think that having, you know, gone through having children, that that's also influenced the way that you help women who are new moms or, or just moms in general in their styling? I do, I do. I, I think I have a calming. I, I try to keep myself pretty, um, laid back if I can, you know. Um, I think it's important. People feel at ease with those that they are listening and they just need that moment to share. So I feel like with our clients, oftentimes we be become so much more and it really, we become friends because while we're getting dressed and we're talking about, you know, maybe a problem area that they have or what they'd like to work on with, when getting dressed, quickly we find that um, friend-like relationship so that they feel I'm honest with them and I wouldn't let them put on something that wouldn't make them look and feel their best. So I, I think it's super valuable to be able just to keep keep calm if you can. <laughs> I have to remind myself that too. But <laughs> Do you have any like mom tricks? Is there anything that you do to make life a little easier for you? Oh, 100%. Um, I'm never beneath bribing. I, I <laughs> uh, motivation is the key, you know. <laughs> yeah. Like if I have to help, like encourage that motivation, I will. Um, I I try not to to giggle about that. Um, I think my girlfriends would say I'm hard on myself about cooking. I really let that out the door. I we're, we eat healthy and clean, but I also try to keep it very. <laughs> simple. So <laughs> while I know I have many, my family has good cooks and um, my friends are wonderful um, cooking experts, I definitely did not get that gene. So I try to not beat myself up. Like 
if we need to do what we need to do and everybody has ate a, a solid meal, I'm okay with that. And that could include a quick take and go, you know, um, or McDonald's. I'm okay with that. <laughs> let's be real. Sometimes you just have to get let's fed. Let's be real. Yeah, let's be real. <laughs> yeah. As long as they're happy and they're fed, you're good. It's true. I, not beneath that. <laughs> so having kids, having a business, um, you know, it takes a lot. How do you maintain a sense of self in all of that? I, I, for me, I have found working out, you know, getting, um, allowing myself a little bit of time just when, especially when I feel anxious to take 30 minutes, whether it be for a walk, for a workout, um, that self-care, that self-love is super important for myself. I also need to work, wake up about 30 minutes prior to the family, <laughs> no matter what, just to do a devotion and, and meditate for a moment. Um, meditating for me is just more quiet time, just having that time to have coffee and sit and get my mind ready for the day. So um, that self time is super important for for me just to move ahead. And then when they wake up, I'm ready to go and, and move on, move on with the day. In a word or phrase, how would you describe um, the pandemic and the time that we've been going through? I think for, for, for myself, for our business and for my family, I mean, one word quickly ca comes to mind and through it all, I think is calm. And, and I feel like for us, it was scary, but the time together was calm. You know, we weren't running off to sports. We didn't have a million different things in the evening. We were all just together and we came back to the calmness of life of playing skippo. <laughs> playing UNO, we had a huge UNO tournament. Everything was just calm. So um, even from a company perspective, I felt like our whole team, when we were all scared, I, I feel like we constantly just talked about staying focused and calm.